My mother was a Black Panther, and she was really involved in the movement, you know, just Black people bettering themselves. Like I was given the responsibility before I wanted it, and so now I can't really differentiate what great responsibility is because I've had it. My mother so taught me three things, respect, knowledge, search for knowledge. It's an eternal, eternal journey. That's like my haircut, the line, 360 degrees, find knowledge, always. And, and she taught me to not be quiet, to, if there's something in my mind, Baltimore, Baltimore has the highest rate of teenage pregnancy, the highest rate of AIDS within the um, black community, the highest rate of um, teens killing teens, and the highest rate of teenage suicide, and the highest rate of blacks killing blacks in Baltimore, Maryland. And this is like if you can't respect yourself, then you can't respect your race, then you can't respect another's race, then you can't respect, you know, it just has to do with respect, like my mother taught me. So um, what, we, what we're doing is starting the Black Panthers again in Marin City, just getting first teaching pride and then teaching education and then we'll see. And everything depended on your moral standards and the way that you behaved and the way that you treated people. We'd be millionaires. We'd be rich. But since it's not like that, then we're stone broke. And so that, that's the only thing that I'm bitter about, is growing up poor because I missed out on the 17, lot of things. he was wide-eyed and really believed that he could change the world. I think adults should go through school again. You know, I think, that, I think that rich people should live like poor people and poor people should live like rich people and it should change every week. Searched for knowledge, you know, we explored together. And I'll just tell you a book right now, you know, it's been around for a long time. It's called Ponder on This. The stuff we were exploring together, food for thought, alignment, the ancient mysteries, astrology, the Buddha, challenge, Christ, the impact of color, our state of consciousness, medicine, the moon, the occult teachings. Rajneesh, telepathy, the Kabbalah, Tibetan Book of the Dead. He read Roots a number of times. Talar Chardin, the phenomenon of man. And as you study Tupac's lyrics, you start to know and understand how much he incorporated his reading, even his last albums. So Pop would read a book like this, you know, it's a pretty big book, and he would attack people's definitions. So what is cultural literacy? And who defines it? And is this white perspective or is this multicultural there be perspective? A drug class, there should be sex education, there should be a class on scams, there should be a class on religious cults, there should be a, a class on police brutality, there should be a class on apartheid, there should be a class on racism in America, there should be a class on why people are hungry, but they're not. Their class is on gym.